think you should What's up, Jet Riders? It's your girl, Justine, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, today is Tuesday, August 31st. It's about to be the end, well, it is the end of the month. It's about to be a new month. And this year has went by so fast, I cannot believe it's gonna be September already. Dang. September already, and I leave next week for surgery. Oh my God, I fly on the ninth. So yeah, this is scary, guys. This is so scary, I ain't gonna lie, I'm so scared. But anywho, I'm on my way to California because I have a doctor appointment I have to go to tomorrow. And then since I'm gonna be in California, then I need to get my car checked. There's some things I wanna get checked on my car. Um, I had an appointment get the car checked back in um but in arizona but then they technicians got got corona and i could have took it to a different audit but i was like forget that i gotta go to california anyway so i just booked an appointment out there in california yeah i got a doctor appointment tomorrow and i gotta do so i have a, i gotta have a checkup i gotta do blood work because before surgery my hemoglobin have to be over a 12 and the last time I had a check in April was 12.6. I hope and pray it's way over 12 now. I hope it's 13 something because I've been taking these iron pills like crazy. B12, iron, I've just been doing everything I'm supposed to do. And um, I had watched somebody video when they said, you know, um, vitamin C helps absorb iron. And I always take my vitamin C with my iron. Maybe I need to start taking like a shot of orange juice with my iron. And then on top of that, um, I also heard sometimes caffeine or coffee can stop iron from absorbing in the body. And I hope and pray that's not true because ooh wee. I be drinking some coffee, but I don't drink coffee every day, you know? Speaking of coffee, I just stopped at Starbucks and got me a pumpkin cold brew. Um, it's nasty and I do like pumpkin cold brew it's just that I don't think they made it right I really don't think they made it right so like I said it's nasty but I'm gonna drink it anyways because I got a long drive ahead of me and I need to I need the caffeine um, so yeah that's what I got to do in California I'm gonna be vlogging every day of course and um, whew. I can't wait to get there already. And I just basically just started. It's raining here. It's been raining a lot here in Arizona this year. I can't believe the amount of rain that we've got. Sometimes it only rains once or twice, but I can count on two hands how many times it rains now. Which is good because, you know, it is hot here. I don't mind the rain at all. I just only minded the snow. Long as it ain't snowing, we good. Okay? I don't want to see them. I don't want to see that. But, um, yeah. It's raining right now. I got a long ride ride ahead of me. Um, it used to take me four and a half, five hours to get where I'm going. But you got to think, you know, sometimes you got to stop the gas. You got to use the bathroom. It's traffic. So sometimes those things slow you down. I gotta take all that into consideration. But I'll get there tonight. I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. I haven't drove and get to California for like in a minute now. And um, cause the last time I just went, I flew. And I was gonna fly again. But then, um, I don't know. They, to me, this airline price was a little bit too much. And this gave me a chance to get my car checked.
see we are in a dust storm first it was raining and now it's like white out as you can see i cannot see a thing oh my god this is so scary i don't know what's happening um i don't want to get ran over by these semis either but as you can see it's all white out i cannot see anything guys this is scary this is this remind me of uh, a mo uh monsoon in arizona Sup is is a lot worse. You can't even see the car in front of you. So basically, I can't see this. I can't see nothing. All I can do is take my time, go slow. So I don't know how long traffic gonna be like this. All I can do is follow the cars in front of me. This is scary. Oh, this car's pulled over. Oh, I do want to get over because I'm scared. I don't want to. I don't want nobody running into me. Oh my God. For one minute you can see and then one minute you can't. Look at this dirt on my windows. Dirt, sand. All right guys, I'm about to pick up some food here at Miguel's Juniors. It's one of my um, favorite mes Mexican restaurants here. All right, y'all, I made it to my destination and I ate and I forgot. Look at my lashes. They look all crooked. Oh, Lord. They're going to get done next week. They're going to get done next week. Anyways, I made it to my destination. I forgot to show y'all my food and stuff because I was so hungry and I'm so sorry. I ate all that food. But um, I'm not going to end this vlog because it don't make no sense to end it. It was very short. I didn't really do nothing. Oh, it was so scary on the highway. Did y'all see that? Oh, at one point, I couldn't even see nothing. I couldn't even see the car in front of me until I got so close and I saw the little lights. We had every, Everybody slowed so far down. So, yeah. So, tomorrow I got my doctor appointment. I guess I'm going to continue this vlog um, tomorrow. So, But I still wanted to come here and say something. So, y'all don't have to be worrying in the beginning of the video. <laughs> Wonder, oh, did she make it? She all right? Yeah, I may. I'm all right. <clears throat> um, so, tomorrow I have a doctor appointment. And I guess I'm going to bring you guys with me. Because I know y'all want to come. Right? Do y'all want to come? I know y'all want to come. So, anyways, my tomorrow's my doctor appointment. If I get up and do something, I will pull out the camera. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I'll talk about my doctor appointment when I get to that. And then I got to do my blood work. Because, like I told y'all, my hemoglobins have to be above a 12 for me to have surgery. If... My hemoglobin is not above 12. It don't make no sense for me to fly my ass all the way to Columbia for them to tell me you can't have surgery. So, let's hope and pray that turns out okay. Cross your fingers, y'all. Cross your fingers. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow, which probably going to be two seconds for y'all. But actually, it's going to be hours for me. Well, see you in two seconds. Hey, what's up, guys? It is the next day, Wednesday. It's 2.42 in the afternoon right now. Um, I just left the doctor office, guys, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I had to come to the doctor office. So, I had some um, a MRI done, a MRI done um, back in April of this year. And um, that MRI has showed I had a large uterus. So, the doctor was thinking that 
I might have fibroids but again tests had to be did and further testing had to been done but they I did not know during the MRI the doctor just told me they had um, measured one of the fibroids and the the, man, the woman made it seem like I might have fibroids she didn't really say I have fibroids but um so I just talked to the doctor and I had to I had to be examined and now I got to set up appointment for ultrasound now they said I do have fibroids the crazy part is I had no symptoms no pain I would never have thought in a million years I had anything like this they said it's very common in women but again I had not not now the doctor was explaining to me that I probably do have signs but I have adapted I guess to my psycho and maybe never even noticed so he's saying he asked me about my heavy do I bleed heavy and I said well yeah I do bleed heavy um, for the fight the first three days and then it goes off you know slows down but that's been like that for years. Like, how are you going to tell me that that's a problem when I've been like that for all these years? And to me, that's normal. He said, I have adapted to this being normal, which those heavy bleedings he claims I'm having is probably not really normal. I don't, I mean, but I change my tampon every three to four hours, just like regular, just like years it's been. I'm just telling y'all, to me, it's normal. Okay, but to them, they don't think it's normal. They just think I adapted to it. And they, they said these heavy bleedings is what's causing my iron to be low. But he said, even though my iron is like over 12, my hemoglobin is over 12. He said, that's because I'm taking all these iron pills, making it over 12, where it probably would be even higher if I didn't have heavy bleeding. I don't know, y'all. This is just so much to think about and what's going on I said listen here sir I'm two weeks I'm about to have surgery on the 13th don't play with me like I ain't got time for this like what what is you telling me here are you telling me I can't have surgery because I'm about to have a tummy tuck is this gonna affect my tummy tuck because you know I have to make sure is this gonna affect my results of my tummy tuck <laughs> he said most likely it won't but when I was laying on the table he had me touch feel my stomach my uterus he says that I'm like I'm pregnant four months pregnant <laughs> he said have you ever? I said well I always felt bloated but I thought that just happened during periods oh girl I'm not worried I'm not scared the thing is could this get larger could um let me think here I don't know what to think I'm not having cramps I don't have pain I don't have nothing and if it wasn't for that MRI I would have just went on my life thinking nothing well anyways that's the reason for the appointment today y'all I know a lot of ladies out there I know it's, they told me it's common for ladies 90% of women go through this I know a lot of my I would say audience or you guys that watch me I probably already been through this you know what I'm saying y'all probably got so much more information about it than I do but I knew I was coming in for this appointment just to double check now he wants me schedule appointment for ultrasound now he asked me do I want to proceed on having a tummy tuck or do I want to wait to have the tummy tuck and deal and deal with this he also let me know that he said I'm sure the surgeon has dealt with a lot of women that have fibroids still had the tummy tuck he said just like we have dealt with a lot of women having hysterectomies that had tummy tucks so he said I have to let you talk to your family I have to let you sit down and discuss and figure things on how you feel a lot of women just keeps the fibroids in them and don't do a thing he said but that's up to you because you're not having any issues now if you was having issues of course we say let's have the hysterectomy he said so I'm gonna leave the, the that decision up to you let's have the ultrasound see how big see how many and then uh, figure out there he said but your uterus is the size of a four month pregnancy
Wow, I'm blown away. Dang, that's crazy how my body just ain't doing nothing. Like my body ain't even reacting to nothing. Like, come on, body, what's wrong with you? Why ain't you giving me no signs? <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's my dilemma right there, right now. I gotta sit down. I'm gonna sit first. I'm gonna sit down. My husband and talk to him. So before y'all even get this video, I probably already talked to him. Before y'all seen this, um, I'm also gonna talk to my sisters. I have no mother to talk to. I wish my dear mother was here, but I don't even know if she would have told me any, told me the right things. Cause you know, my mama would be against surgery. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Any kind of surgery, she don't even want me to have tummy tuck. She ain't want me to have nothing. Even when I had to have a once a, I had to have appendix removal, she used to. I remember when I was in the emergency room, I said, "Mom, I gotta go to the, I gotta have an operation to remove my appendix." She said, "Oh, girl, you better get a second opinion." I said, "Mom, I can't get no second opinion. I'm in pain." So my mom would just be like against that. I know she would be against that. So, but sometimes we have to do what we have to do, right? So anyhow, um. I'm about to call my husband to see what he's doing because um, I think we're going to go for a ride. Just go, just we're going around taking a ride, looking at some things today. And then um, I'm about to discuss that. Then I'm going to talk to my sister. And then um, that's it. Like, how can you correct a problem if you're not having a problem? That's why I'm that's the dilemma I'm in. I'm not having no pain, no bleeding, no nothing. And he keeps saying like the bleeding is your cycle. Because I'm sure you're bleeding heavy. But it's normal. Like people. Now I see if I'm soaking through a pad an hour or a tampon every 30 minutes. That's not happening. <laughs> Uh, and I said, I be taking iron like crazy. He said, but you're taking iron to boost up my blood when I probably wouldn't even have to take that much iron if I wasn't bleeding like that. So we'll see. I'm not scared or any, I don't feel like I'm in any type of danger or anything like that. I just have to have, I'm having my tummy tuck. Point, period, blank. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. I already know the decision of that. I'm having my tummy tuck. And within four to six months, if need so, I will have a hysterectomy. But my tummy tuck is going to happen. Okay. And then um, he just said that he don't want it, the, the uterus to be too large and they can't pull it out, you know, like a baby. They will have to cut me and have like a C-section. No, you can pull this out like a baby. I done had eight pound babies. You can pull this out like a baby. Yeah, and you ain't gonna tell me if, if if this four months of pregnancy, that's to me that's premature. You could pull this out easy, okay? I had big babies. I ain't had no little babies, honey. None. All my babies were eight pounds. Self for Marisha, she was seven pounds six ounces. But all them boys was eight pounds. Malik, he was damn near nine. I had big boys, and and all of them was natural i had no c-section so you ain't gonna have no problem pulling this damn thing out don't play with me <laughs> oh anywho y'all this is crazy i know i probably share too much information with you guys telling y'all all my business <laughs> but uh i'm going through normal things that women go through and that's what i love about my platform i keep it 100 i keep it real i may be helping somebody out here and if i can help one person i feel like god put me in a position to help somebody and i'm okay with that okay so maybe somebody's watching is going through the same situation the same dilemma and trying to figure things out well honey we're going through this together okay i'm gonna and just because i make the decision to do something do not mean you have to make the, the, the same decision just think pray get advice see what others opinions are but at the end of the day the choice is yours just like I can talk to my husband, I can talk to my sister, but at the end of the day, the choice is mine, okay? And that's what I love about this, because it's our choice, you know? We just have to figure out and, and, and go about this the right way. So, okay, I got some thinking to do, and I'm not going to be worrying about it. 
Uh, I can tell you that right now. Oh, I did ask me. I this. I this what I did ask him. I said, um, if I do have this hysterectomy sur surgery, is that gonna make menopause come? <laughs> he said no. And he said menopause. Sometimes going through menopause shrinks the fibroids. He said, but ain't no telling when. He said, you're 48 years old. Menopause normally happens around 51, and it could happen at 55. And know what I mean. I probably won't have menopause to 57. I'm just saying. This, I'm just saying. Okay? <laughs> so, anywho, let me get ready to call my husband, see what we're going to do. And then, um, I'm sure in a few seconds, y'all about to see what we're going to do. We're probably going to, we're going to be going for a ride for sure. Because we got to look at a few things. But anyways, I'll be back, guys. Hey, guys. I know I haven't been really vlogging that good or showing much these past couple of days but I'm tired and I'm finna get ready to go to bed so I just want to say if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe okay also don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified of every video I upload super tired finna get ready to lay it down I just wanted to say that I'm gonna go ahead and end this video I want to thank you guys for your love and your support Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.